Welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches. I'm Fred Woods, ready to teach. Hello, mathematicians. Welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches. Today we're going to be working with lines, rays, and angles. And this is the second in the series for that introduction to geometry where I had the vocabulary and I was explaining that to you. Well, let's take a look. Here we have some, I want to say, questions or problems where it says, lines, rays, and angles, draw and label an example of the figure. Number one, obtuse, and it, there's that symbol for angle, angle ABC, and this is telling us what it is. It's classified as an obtuse angle. Well, here we go. I'm going to draw an obtuse angle. I'm going to label it A, B, and C. And just so, I'm going to go ahead and put some points here. There we go. All right. So explain. Well, let me explain real quick. I wrote out an obtuse angle is greater than 90 degrees. And this is definitely greater than 90 degrees for that angle. Let's move on to the next one here. Hmm, I have to classify what this is for number two. And it's GH, so that could be a line segment or whatever. But if we remember the notation for a ray, it's going to be it's not going to have an arrow at both ends. It's going to have an endpoint going out to an arrow. So what I can do is just draw this line, put arrow at one end here. I'm going to have that as G and H down here. I'm going to get those points here. There's that point there for that for this ray, and here's the end point for the ray. I'm going to explain this. A ray has an end point at one end, and the line has no end at the other end. So here's my end point here at G, which is denoted here. And then here's the other point here for H. And then I have an arrowhead which says, hey, this is continuing on into infinity. Let's look at numbers three and four. Number three reads acute, and then it shows that angle here again, JKL. So acute, so I'm going to draw this right here like this. I'm going to put my points here, point here, point here, and it's JKL. So I'm going to say J, K, and L. So how do I explain this? I want you to think about it for a moment. If you recall in the previous video, an acute angle is an angle between 0 and 90 degrees. Notice I said between. It does not include 0 and 90 degrees. It's between. So it could be 0 0.00001. That is an angle. Okay. So let's take a look at the next one. Number 4, it says BC. And I have just a line. There's no arrows there. So that's going to be a line segment. So I can draw my line. Not straight, but it's straight enough. And I'm going to put in, here we go, there's a point there, and a point there, and B, C. Now, how would you explain what this is? Take a moment, pause the video. So we see here, it reads, B, C is a line segment, it has ending points. If it was a line that had, that was continuous, I would have had arrows on each end of that line above BC right here. As you can see here, it reads, use this figure for 5 through 8. So that's telling me that this figure right here is going to be for questions 5 through 8. And we have 5 and 6 here. So let's take a look here. It says, name a line segment. All right. So there's so many segments I can choose from. I'm just going to say E, F. That one just pops right out to me. Put the symbol on top of it. And I can explain that, and it's going to be the same thing as I had before. EF is a line segment that has ending points, and we can see that right here. There's E and F, and there's it's continuous, so there's not any breaks in between it. There's no other points in there. It is a line segment. Let's look at number six. Name a right angle. Well, we have to understand what the symbology is, and right here, it shows here that this is a right angle. That's the symbology for it. That's the symbol for it. And I can sit here and I go, well, here we go. There's E, J, F. But there's other possibilities. There could be B, J, A or B, J, F. Uh, I'm just going to say it's going to be angle. 
because it is an angle, EJF. E J F. Here's the explanation I have here. EJF is a right angle that forms a square corner. And we can see that because there's that square symbol right there at that corner. As you can see, we're still using the same figure for questions five through eight, and we're on seven and eight here. So let's see here, name an obtuse angle. Hmm. What would that be? And if, if you recall, an, an obtuse angle is greater than 90 degrees. Okay, so let's take a look here. So easiest one I can see right off the bat is D, E, F. So I'm gonna say angle D, E, F. And if you look at this here, D, E, F, that's absolutely greater than 90 degrees. Because 90 degrees, if I took it straight up from here, that would be 90 here, and that is greater than 90. So did your explanation match mine? Where I wrote D, E, F is an obtuse angle because it is greater than 90 degrees. And I just showed you that over here as well. Let's take a look at this here. It says, name a ray. Hmm. That might be a little more difficult if you're not paying attention, but let's see here. We can look at this here. So I can say JD. So I'm going to put down JD. And I could just put this as a symbol for my ray. And I can even draw it, you know, if I want to. But here's J. There's D. If you notice, it goes right on through there. I want you to pause the video and try to explain what a ray is using this ray JD. Welcome back. Did you explain what a ray is the same way as I did? Or is it similar? Check it out. I wrote JD is a ray that has one endpoint and continues without an end in one direction. And that sure does. So it's, it's my endpoint J. And D, as you can see, it has, it keeps on, it's continuous right there. Let's go to the next problems. Oh, this is a little bit different. If you look here, this looks like a protractor. Now it had, it's a, or it could be classified as a semicircle. We have points here. There's A, B, C, D, E, and F. We have this right here that denotes that this line right here going up is a right angle to here, or 90 degrees. We have uh, this this line here, A, E. It can be considered a, a continuous line on each end, but F, E is a ray. So let's get down and see what we need to do. For number nine, it reads classify angle A, F, D. Ooh, what does classify mean? Well, let's take a look. So A, F, D, so I have A, F, D. And what does that look like? What type of angle does that look like? It looks like it's an obtuse. Did you get that correct? Well, can you explain that answer? See if yours matches my explanation. Okay, did you explain it the same as I did or something similar? So AFD is an obtuse angle that is greater than 90 degrees. We can see that right here, AFD and is definitely greater than 90 degrees. Number 10, classify angle C, F, E. Well, let's take a look here. I have C, F, E. Hmm. Well, one thing to note is that we have this symbol right here you know, that shows that that is a right angle. So we can classify this as a right angle. Let's write it out. Can you explain what that is? Pause the video. Welcome back. Well, as I can see here, I wrote CFE is a right angle because it forms a square corner. And again, we can see that with that symbol, which is a square. Here's number 11, the final problem of the day. So let's take a look at this. Again, we still have this semicircle with these lines and our rays coming out and a line at the bottom here. It reads, name two acute angles. So acute angle 
well, let's take, this is one right here. There's several of them here, but D, F, E. So I'm just going to write that out down. D, F, E. Let's look at another. Now there's, there's I could do C, F, D. I could do B, F, C, A, F, B. There's so many others. I'm just going to keep it on the same side. So C, F, D. That is an acute angle. Now I need to explain my answers. Pause the video and see if your explanation matches mine. All right, welcome back. This is for the final problem here. Angles DFE and CFD are two acute angles that measure less than 90 degrees. And we can see that. We, in fact, you know, this one right here, CFD is definitely less than 90 because CFE is 90 degrees. And then conversely as well here, DFE is also, because that's, that's the piece that's missing from here to make it 90 and such. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. And remember, like, share, and subscribe.